fresh and unprocessed foods, importance and dose. Those of you who are longer term members of what was the academy or even many, many, many years ago, Guaranteed Fitness, will remember that we used to talk a lot more about what we call jerf, just eat real food, and a lot less about calories. And that was primarily because it was an approach that worked for us. Focusing on having more natural and processed food enabled us as fitness professionals to on average create maintenance calories to keep in the shape that we'd already got ourselves in. From experience over the years, it was an approach that some absolutely loved and could get their teeth into. For others, they felt they couldn't do it. They felt it was too much one direction and perhaps therefore didn't even try to make any changes, which is why a handful of years ago, we changed to concentrating more on the calorie deficit because ultimately that's the thing that Jerf created that, that made progress for people, but to enable people to have a bit more choice over their method of creating that deficit. For some, they'll continue with more natural and processed foods. For some, they'll just look at portion sizes of what they're already eating. For some, they might look at tactics such as not eating after a certain time or outside of a certain windows. For some, it might be removal of certain things such as snacking or not having certain things in the house. It's choosing a method that works for that person to create the principle of a calorie deficit. However, there is still massive value in having relatively fresh, less processed foods as a larger part of our intake. Again, as I mentioned yesterday, if we've got extra weight to lose, probably the most beneficial thing that we could do is to lose that from the point of view of our health. And the most important thing there is a calorie deficit. However, there is value again to just generally improving our health, to improving our energy and the way our body feels and functions to having more natural, less processed foods. And that may also then contribute to us finding it easier to create a deficit. If we're giving our body good stuff that, that nourishes it and makes it work and makes us feel good, we're probably more likely to then burn more calories through exercise or increased activity. We're probably more likely to create a deficit, particularly because on average, less processed foods are often less calorie dense. Not always, but often. So in summary, less processed, more natural foods, fairly important worth doing. Minimum dose is more perhaps than you could have or have done in the past. We don't need to completely cut out all the things that we might enjoy. You can get brilliant results and still having them as a proportion of your intake. But maybe if your results aren't where you'd like them to be now, it could be a slightly lower proportion and slightly increase the proportion of the less processed, more natural things.